Well, I think there's something wrong with the world in general to the extent that the world has been changing dramatically <laughs> in the last two, three years. And then, uh, you know, the debate simply has to get adjusted. And this is more than a minor adjustment. We simply are facing quite tremendous challenges and uh, we have to, to catch up to this challenge. And this is what we're trying to do now, to look a little bit more radically towards uh, these new challenges facing Europe. My name is Alina Monjou PPD. I'm a professor at the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin, and I am convening a panel within the Darendorf Symposium, which is called Europe as Ideological Space and Vision. The problem with the concept of multiculturalism is that people understand different things by it. All right, in a very strict sense, actually, multiculturalism means building a political society on the basis of cultures and not individuals. And this obviously doesn't work. This is a system which is very much under strain. And we've seen it under strain in Canada, in Belgium, so it really doesn't work. Building a system on the basis of individuals, even of individuals of different cultures, as long as these individuals agree to a fundamental norms and cultures in Europe, has a fundamental definitional uh, cultural package, so to say, this should work. You know, the tension is between these two definitions is that sometimes we tried in policy terms to do one, to do the American models and sometimes we try to do the other, the Canadian or the Belgian model, which I think is by now we should acknowledge that it doesn't work very well. Inequalities within Europe are going to become less dramatic than inequalities between people who are in Europe and people who are on the outside, you know. If you are on the Mediterranean this day, you meet many, many boats with the real people who are really at severe inequality trying to get in. So I think that the challenge of inequality is not only within Europe, it's simply this dramatic fact that Europe is an in-group and all this out-group outside us is trying to, uh, to get in. And uh, we cannot separate these two debates. We have discussed them like separate things, but I think that less and less we have to ask ourselves if we can build an island of prosperity and isolate it by a wall from the rest of the world. We have to consider that um, we live through difficult times and when times were better, when life was easy, when everybody just saw the great advantages of being a European, Europe could be very well just be a technocratical project. But each time when Europe is really under strain, as we have quite been in the last two years, each time when you actually have to demand for people's solidarity and uh, people's resilience in difficult times, then Europe has to be more than a technocratic project. And this is where vision come in, comes in. I, I would put it like this, that Europe after enlargement is bound to be a different place. It's not bound to be a, you know, a dissimilar place, even if there are many inequalities. But simply, it is rather difficult to, to presume that you can undergo such a fantastic transformation and then remain with the same ideas, remain with the same debates, even remain with the same vocabulary that you had 10, 15 years ago. And now we have all this wave of North African revolutions. So I think that, in fact, uh, the ideas that we're aiming here are, are new ideas from a far more uh, diverse Europe than Europe had been. At, the, at, at its onset, when it was very similar, homogenous, prosperous Europe. Now we have a Europe which has been uh, really experienced quite difficult and different experiences. And it is this new Europe which should get a new outlook for, for the rest of the world. Europe as an idea cannot have a border. You know, Europe as an idea is a concept which can go up, which should be able to grow out of Europe's borders and conquer more and more space if it's an idea, because this is what ideas are do. You cannot really bound ideas. So I think that our difficulty is a strain between this idea, between this European normative power that other people like and want to emulate, and uh, the idea that in fact, Europe is something very narrow, confined to a space of prosperity that we try to defend. And in this space of prosperity, not even European member states like Greece or Portugal fit anymore. In fact, we would like them out more and more these days. So I think that that's actually a very important tension between Europe as an idea and simply Europe, Europe based on material interest, which is how Europe started. And I think it's a very good Europe as it is. We only have to be aware that there is a gap between these two, and this gap has to be debated. We simply have to decide if Europe means the same for all of us.